Hey everyone, ever wondered how a game where you stack blocks and fend off pixelated monsters became a cultural phenomenon? Let's dive into how Minecraft, yes, the game of endless possibilities, changed gaming forever. It all started back in 2009. A humble Swedish programmer, Marcus Persson, or as many of you know him, Notch, released the first public version of Minecraft. It was simple, a bit rough around the edges, but it had something special. A sandbox world where you could create literally anything. Fast forward a few years, and Minecraft became not just a game, but a platform. A platform for creativity, learning, and community. Schools started using it to teach programming and problem solving. It even helped some kids with autism enhance their social and communication skills. But it wasn't just the educational aspect. Minecraft became a canvas for gamers. People built worlds that defied imagination from scale models of fictional cities to working computers within the game. Yes, you heard that right, computers within the game. And let's not forget the community, the heart of Minecraft. Players shared their creations, collaborated on projects, and participated in massive online servers where the only limit was their imagination. The game nurtured a whole generation of gamers who learned the joy of creating, not just consuming. Minecraft's influence didn't stop there. It spawned an entire genre of survival and crafting games. Games where collecting resources and building are as important as the adventure itself. Titles like Terraria, Stardew Valley, and more owe a lot to the pathways Minecraft paved. So, next time you log into your Minecraft world, remember you're not just playing a game, you're part of a legacy. A legacy that transformed gaming and continues to inspire millions around the world. Until next time, keep crafting, keep exploring, and who knows, maybe you'll change the game yourself. Catch you later. Ready to dive into the blocky world of Minecraft and give your brain a boost? If you're anything like me, you've probably spent countless hours getting lost in the world of Minecraft, and maybe even lost track of time. Oops. But did you know that playing Minecraft can actually be good for your mental health? Yeah, you heard that right. It's like therapy, but with more creepers. First off, Minecraft is a sandbox game, which means it's all about creativity. Think of it as digital Lego, but without the pain of stepping on a brick. You get unlimited resources to build just about anything you can imagine. Want a castle? Done. A roller coaster? Easy peasy. Designing your own world or crafting intricate structures not only boosts your creativity, but also gives a sense of accomplishment. And who doesn't love a good pat on the back from themselves? And who doesn't feel great after creating something awesome, right? It's like being your own Bob the Builder. But it's not just about building. Minecraft can be a form of meditation, zen mode, activated. The repetitive actions of mining and building can actually help calm your mind, similar to knitting or colouring, or watching paint dry but way more fun. It helps distract from stressful thoughts and allows you to focus on the moment, just you, your pickaxe and a whole lot of blocks. This can be incredibly therapeutic and reduce feelings of anxiety. Who knew mining for diamonds could be so zen? Also, let's talk about the social aspect. Yes, Minecraft can be social. Surprise! Even though it might seem like a solitary game, Minecraft is huge on collaboration. Think of it as a digital block party. Joining servers, participating in build battles, or just exploring worlds with friends can help strengthen social bonds and combat loneliness. Because nothing says friendship like building a giant pixelated cat together. Especially during these times when we might feel isolated, having a buddy to share your Minecraft adventures with can really uplift your spirits and maybe even save you from a zombie or two. And here's another cool part, problem solving. Get ready to flex those brain muscles. Minecraft throws challenges at you, from surviving your first night to battling the Ender Dragon. Spoiler, it's not easy. Each challenge requires problem solving and critical thinking. It's like a mental gym, but with more lava. This not only keeps your mind sharp, but also gives you a sense of control and resilience, which are key components in managing mental health. Plus, who doesn't love outsmarting a blocky dragon? Lastly, the freedom to control your environment in Minecraft can be empowering. It's your world, we're just living in it. It's a space where you can be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do without real world consequences. Want to build a house made of cake? Go for it. For many, this sense of control and escape can lead to significant stress relief because sometimes we all need a break from reality. So next time someone tells you that you're just wasting time playing Minecraft, 
Let them know it's your fun way of taking care of your mental health. And maybe show them your epic castle while you're at it. Whether it's building the next big castle, mining for diamonds, or fighting off zombies, Minecraft is more than just a game. It's a gateway to a healthier mind. And a lot of fun, too. All right, that's it for now. Keep crafting, keep exploring, and remember, taking care of your mental health is just as important as any epic build. And way more fun than a therapy session. Catch you in the next video. Happy mining!